This is an ionization smoke detector, and yes, it's radioactive. So we carefully took it down and brought it into the studio to see what we were really dealing with. These types of alarms have been around since the 1960s, quietly protecting homes with technology born from nuclear science. Inside there's a synthetic element you won't find in nature, a Mericium 241. It was once used in space probes and now it's in your hallway. So how does it work and why are millions of homes fitted with something that sets off a Geiger counter? Right at the center of this device is a tiny amount of Mericium 241, a radioactive material that emits alpha particles. Mericium 241 is a byproduct of the nuclear waste left behind by plutonium. It's used in space exploration and ionization smoke detectors. It's sealed in a metal chamber between two plates, and here's why it's there. Mericium 241 ionizes the air in the chamber, creating a small electric current. But if smoke enters, it disrupts that current, triggering the alarm. Sounds risky? It's not. Emericium 241 can't even get through this plastic casing or even your skin. As long as you don't crack it open, it's perfectly safe. But what's not safe is leaving it too long. These detectors typically expire after 10 years. To find out when and how to replace yours, click the link in the description. And whatever you do, don't just bin this in your general waste. The Emericium 241 classifies this as hazardous waste. Check your local council's recycling rules or hand it in to a trusted wholesaler. So a radioactive source quietly guarding your hallway is not something you think about often. But now you know what's really inside this smoke alarm.